Good morning, Central High School, or I guess afternoon. It's lunchtime. I've got a lot of new arrivals in, and I wanted to talk about some of them and so I can get them out to you. So first and foremost, some things that I tried to cover, and it was hard to find some material for the election. I have a Donald Trump book, and I have a Hillary Clinton book. So if you want to educate yourself about the candidates, I know we don't have a lot of time left, but these are available in the library. I also have a lot of really good sports books in this month by some authors that you guys really follow. Here's The Sixth Man. This is a basketball book. Basketball season is quickly approaching. And this is by John Feinstein. And he writes, he writes a lot of really good sports books. Here's a football book as we're wrapping up our season. This is called Crack Coach. This is an easy read, short. And this is what do you do when your coach is an addict. So kind of interesting. Here's another basketball book called Forward. So this is another one of those short, easy to read, quick books. So if you need something to read quickly and you can get into it quickly, that's a good one. And I have another one about football like that, Fighting the Legend. So those are high interest and quick reads. And then I have another Feinstein book. Oh, that looks this, very similar. Another John Feinstein book, brand new. It's called The DH, and this is a, bat, a baseball uh, fiction book. And then Paul Falpone, who also writes a lot of sports fiction. This one's called Top Prospect, and this is another football book. And then last, Carl Decker. Um, this one's called Gutless. This is his newest. He, he's the author of Jim Candy and Heart of a Champion. We have several of his books. So I was really pleased with the number of quality sports fiction that we got in this month. So you guys need to come and check that out. And remember, we still have a football display up on the back side of the stacks. I'll probably be changing that maybe to basketball in the next couple of weeks. Some other books that I'm excited about. And listen up if you are a freshman, because some of these books were are sequels to former Truman Award books and by some of the same authors. This is Project 1065. This is a World War II historical fiction book. And this is by the author of Prisoner B3087. That was a Truman book last year that everybody just kind of fell in love with. So if you want to read more by that author, you liked his style, come check that one out. And then we have Irreversible by Chris Lynch. And I don't know if anyone read the, this is the sequel to Chris Lynch's book, Inexcusable. And this takes the issue of date rape from the accuser's side. So we hear a lot in the news about rape culture and, and sexual harassment and lots of different things. So this is a different viewpoint. So if you read inexcusable or you haven't maybe you'd like to pick that up and then pick up the sequel irreversible we also have a new book black river falls by jeff hirsch and he wrote the 11th plague and this isn't a sequel but it's one of those um, oh i can't think of any I can't, this is what happens when you get old you can't think of the, the word you want uh, but this is the, the book where uh, everything's going on in the town and people are in a survival mode, a lot like the 11th plague. So if you liked that book, you'll love this one by Jeff Hirsch. And then we have the author of Variant, and a lot of students were really into this in middle school, and this is called Dark Energy. So if you like Robison Wells, you might want to check this one out. So those are some sequels and some new books by popular authors. And a lot of people really get into April Henry. She wrote Girl Stolen, The Night You Were Supposed to Die. Oh, gosh, there's others. And this is a new one by her called Blood Will Tell. And then another one, The Girl I Used to Be. So April Henry, very popular author. Come down and get her materials. And then these were just kind of fun. I thought I would read a little bit about this one. And this is for our books in verse collection. So this is a quick read because it's all written kind of like one giant poem. And this is called That Selfie Girl. You know how they say your entire life flashes before your eyes as you die? Well, that's not exactly right. What flashes before your eyes is actually the last goodbye. So that one looks interesting. 
And then we had the stand-in, and this looks like a humorous little uh, book. It says, when Brooks volunteered to be a stand-in for Burdett's cousin who got stood up for homecoming, it was the noblest of intentions, helping his fellow man free of charge. But when he has tipped over 300 bucks, word spreads quickly among the 1% in the tri-state area. So he seizes this as an opportunity to raise some extra money by offering himself as an escort to super wealthy helicopter parents who want their daughters to experience those once in a lifetime social events of senior year. So that sounds like a recipe for a disaster, but it sounds like it might be kind of cute. This is called Everything, Everything. And this one, um, love story. Also the girl has an illness. My disease is as rare as it is famous. Basically I'm allergic to the world. I don't leave my house, have not left my house in 17 years. The only people I've, I ever see are my mom and my nurse, Carla. Then one day a moving truck arrives next door. I look out my window and I see him. He's tall, lean, and wearing all black, black t-shirt, black jeans, black sneakers, and a black knit cap that covers his hair completely. He catches me looking and stares at me. I stare right back. His name is Ollie. Maybe we can't predict the future, but we can predict some things. For example, I am certainly going to fall in love with Ollie it's almost certainly going to be a disaster. So this has been on a lot of reviews uh, as I've been looking for books to order. So I think that someone will definitely get into that. And I'm not gonna read about this, but I got a new horror. All of you guys that loved Goosebumps, loved R.L. Stein. well, R.L. Stein has written a new horror book and we just got it in. So this is, Can You Keep a Secret or Are You Dying to Tell? So come and look at that one. And this is something that I have never seen or not in a long time. And this is a Lauren Oliver book and it's uh, the replica series. And what's cool about it is on this side, we have Lyra's story. And when you turn it upside down, you have Gemma's story. So the book's about half as long as it looks, but that's kind of a neat uh, or different way to get, uh, I guess these are companion books. So as you can see on the card, I have a lot more new books that I didn't even go through because I can only make a 10 minute video where it cuts off. So I hope you guys will come down and look at some of these. I have a card outside my office door that I put all the books on that I feature uh, on the video and plus some of the other. So come and, come and check these out. I think you'll find something that you'll definitely like. Have a great day.